Tom Nelson here with Raymarine Electronics and uh, I find myself using my chart plotter virtually the whole time I'm underway. There's times I'll turn my sonar off, there's times I'm not looking at my engine instrumentation, there's times I'm not looking at my radar, but virtually the whole time I'm underway I'm working with my chart plotter. So let's get into this Raymarine Axiom Pro chart plotter and take a look at how it can best do its job for you. One of the first things we're going to see here immediately is, is the chart detail. This plotter has a Navionics sonar charts uh, display chosen. Let, let's see how the different layers of detail will help you do a better job as a fisherman. So right now you can see that fishing charts is chosen. Again, to get to that screen, I'm, I'm either hitting the menu in the corner of the screen on the touch screen or I can come up here and resource same functions with a hard key in case you have touch screen um, disabled but through use of the power button. So right now let's look at how the simple display looks and you can see now I've changed from that level of cartography density to just a very very simple view which is fine if you're in a cruising application. Let's go back to that screen and look at the detailed. Detailed gives you a slightly different view. Um, it's a NOAA chart background with all the basics that uh, that you need for safe navigation okay um, but to enable the sonar charts which is a crowdsourcing data I always use sonar charts when I'm fishing it will automatically um, back off when you go to different zoom levels but once I come up here to a to a fishing zoom level where I where I typically like to fish and here we are out here a possession bar really famous spot here in the Pacific Northwest Hood Canal excuse me excuse me Puget Sound area um, you know this level of chart detail definitely helps you do your job better as a fisherman. So whatever level of detail you choose, your Raymarine chart plotter has you covered. Just got to put the chip in and learn how to use it. Another great feature, of course, is the tide feature where we can we can look and actually put our tides in motion on how they're going to work. And now we're now we're concentrating on the little tide boxes and how they're going to move up and down so we can always get a view of, of what's going on with regard to our tides. I'm Tom Nelson with Raymarine Pro Staff and uh, thanks for taking the time to get a little bit more familiar with your Raymarine chart plotter.